Hello and welcome back to JJ's Food Reviews. So today I'm going to be trying these, the original Boca spicy chicken veggie patties. So I thought these look kind of interesting, kind of tasty looking. We'll see how good they are. Maybe they'll be really good, maybe they won't be very good. We're about to find out. So as you can see, they come in individual, well, not individually, there's two in here. There's two to a pack. To a pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the on the frying pan, and we're gonna flip them. So as you can see, I've cut up the avocados just the way I like it, and these little wedges. have a plate here and we're gonna get a, a little spoon and put some mayonnaise on here. Just a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay so it's all ready and you see I have it here set out on a plate. You've got the uh, the toast with the mayonnaise and you have the veggie patty here and then the two slices of avocado. Well, I'm gonna first try the veggie patty with spicy chicken uh, flavor. I'm gonna try it by itself first before I try my little uh, sandwich. So the uh, chicken patty, it's got a nice spice that kind of hits you in a bit of a, of a, a wave after the fact. Um, you feel it kind of hit you from front to back. It doesn't really remind me that awful much of chicken. I mean, I can see how it's supposed to be like chicken and kind of has a similar sort of texture maybe, I don't know. Flavor-wise, it does taste like plant protein. It is soy. It does have a tofu type taste. The, the spices are nice. They're subtle, but they're nice. Um, it's, it's salted the right amount. I'm gonna go ahead and see how it is in this form. Hmm. So here is a a real chicken nugget, which I made for my uh, two-year-old son. This is a lot better, I'm just being honest. So let's go ahead and break it down. So for the uh, veggie patty, the soy chicken patty from Boca, uh, I found that the texture was a bit weird. Um, didn't really taste like, you know, chicken, you know, it was very, if it resembled chicken, it resembled super chopped and formed chicken. I used to work in the food industry, food service industry, so I know what tofu looks like, and that looked just like tofu to me, and it tasted like tofu, and I'm okay with tofu, I, I like it okay. I just went into this kind of expecting that it would really resemble chicken, I hadn't had this um, uh, particular item before, and in that sense, I was a bit disappointed. Because, I mean, I kind of, if you call it chicken, I'm expecting it to be resemblant of chicken. But uh, at any rate, it was all right. I mean, it was kind of like a tofu, you know, patty with uh, breading on it. It was, it was, you know, it was not oily or greasy at all. Um, it was, you know, it had a nice breading on it, though. It was baked nicely. Actually, I just pan cooked them. I didn't even put oil, but just cooked, cooked them. Um, the seasoning was was the right amount there was no complaints there um i just i think i was somewhat disappointed because i went into this expecting chicken sort of uh vibes and i didn't get chicken vibes i got tofu vibes but with that said it was good tofu um so i mean what can i say and i don't know if it fits the definition of tofu in that state but it's you know it's like a soy based uh um, protein patty 
Uh, so I, I would probably have to rate it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a a C plus. I've had other veggie patties that weren't supposed to resemble chicken. Uh, some of which I reviewed on here. At least one of them um, that I liked a great deal better. This was just kind of your, I mean, typical healthy soy patty that you know, non meat uh, substitute whatever. Uh, it was very average with the exception that the seasonings bumped it up just a little bit because they were just just right not too salty not overwhelming there was a little bit more than just a salt flavor there were some nice little like herbal undertones as well so for that reason I give it a C plus um, it actually tasted pretty nice with the nice crispy toast underneath a little bit of mayonnaise to add a little bit of fat because there's like none pretty much I mean I don't know Let's see if the box says if there's any fat at all. There might be a little bit. Um, it says per one patty, there's four grams of fat. So there's a little bit of fat. But um, it just doesn't really have much moisture to it. I mean, it's I can't say it's dry. It's not bone dry either. It's not like eating a, a desert in your mouth. But it's, it's, it's just kind of... It's just semi... It's kind of like not desert dry, but it's like grassland dry. So it's not like Arizona, but it's like... Oklahoma so anyway with that much said lest I continue rambling on and on I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that um, I wasn't even reviewing these but these chicken nuggets which I made um, they are delicious they remind me of chick-fil-a but a lot cheaper than chick-fil-a this is it for today um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of ideas, but very little time um, at this point in time. But we'll see what we come up with, shall we? So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you all later, and have a great rest of your day, rest of your night, whenever you're watching this.